Welcome to the channel. Today we're discussing the differences between full sizing and neck sizing and uh, which of the two is appropriate in which case. Now this is going to be all about rifle brass because pistol brass you just full size it, you know, you just stick it in, you ram it all the way down, squeeze it back into spec and that's that. Rifle brass is a little bit more complicated because we have a neck and uh, so that allows us certain possibilities. Now during firing the uh, case will expand and assume effectively the uh, proportion that the chamber allows the brass to have. Uh, if we now want to refire that case, at the very least we have to resize the very neck of the case to allow it to accept the bullet. That is effectively what a neck sizer does. A full sizer goes one step further and resizes the entirety of the case. Now, resizing an entire case uh, uses a full sizing die. The full sizing die obviously makes contact with the brass just about everywhere but the, heads, uh, but the head stamp. And so uh, to facilitate the uh, resizing, we have to loop the case. There are several options here. You can use the ubiquitous Lee uh, resizing lubricant. This comes in every die set just about. So you now I have a few dozens of those kicking around. Uh, there's the very good uh, Dylan uh, case lubricant, which is great as long as you wait the 15 minutes that uh, it advocates, because otherwise your case will get stuck if you still uh, if you try to resize it while it's still baked with alcohol. There's an RCBS uh, full sizing die also, which is okay if you are using uh, a self index uh, uh, an auto indexing press. Um, needs a lot of needs refilling off. No, that's the only downside. I advise against using oil because uh, you have to then get the oil off somehow. And uh, an oil case, to my mind, puts much more strain on uh, the action than uh, a case lubricated and then cleaned with one of these. I mean, cleaning oil off a case is very difficult. So I've set up a full sizing die here. We have we're going to use the Lee resizing lubricant. The way it works, you take a little dot of that, like so. We apply it to the case all over the shop, like that. And then we insert it into the press all the way down. That's the primer popping out all the way up. And that case has been resized, full resized. Now. The difficulty with that is twofold. The first is that we're working the brass and we're working the brass a lot. Um, instead of just working the neck to accept the bullet, uh, to, to accept it, to make it accept the bullet again, we're working the entirety of the brass, including the shoulder and the body and all sorts of stuff. Now, working the brass like that shortens the uh, life of the case. And also, the fact that we have to lube it makes things quite complicated. The alternative then is to use a neck sizing die. The neck sizing die is uh, in many ways more complicated as we have uh, the petals over here and we have an anvil and as we apply pressure the two of them press together and only the neck is thus resized. That is the, the neck sizing die here. I'm going to insert around. Down we go. That is the primer ejecting. And that is the finished case neck sized. The uh, advantage with the neck size is, of course, that we can bypass the lubricant. Um, that is, in many ways, really pleasant. The downside is that the resized uh, case should only be fired out of the firearm that has uh, that has discharged the case in the first place. So, uh, as, a, as a little uh, cautionary tale, I was shooting some 5.56 and uh, out of an AR-15, I got a little sloppy and I put in some home loads that I had fired out of uh, a bolt action rifle and uh, they got stuck in the action and the armorer had to come and chisel the gun open 
very embarrassing, does happen regrettably once in a while. So with uh, neck sizing you have to be extremely careful that the uh, finished ammunition is only fired in the uh, gun that the uh, case has was uh, discharged in. I don't tend to uh, neck size one set of uh, uh, brass more than four times because after that they've expanded so much that they don't tend to enter the uh, breach cleanly anyway. Um, that's it from us for today and uh, I hope uh, this has been enlightening and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!